Hey fish family, welcome back to day two of the um, fish build. Day two and part two, I guess you should say. Uh, part one, we got all these tanks here and on the other side moved off this wall. They were all along here and then around to this side. Got all that pulled off to start with. It's going to be the first part to get done. Um, now, let my son paint this. I did a little video of that, and then I, uh, Sydney painted um, my name on there and my business name. And uh, her YouTube name, she goes by Squidney. <laughs> but uh, we were just having a little fun doing this. I'm almost sad. I got to paint over this. Um, be, I'll be painting this whole room black. Um, just to start off with, I'll show you this paint. Let's hold it here. So this is actually exterior paint, which is outdoor paint, and it's mold and algae resistant. So I figured this would be great for a, a fish room that will have a higher humidity than most rooms. But I do have a de a dehumidifier that's over there in the other corner that I run, so it shouldn't be a huge issue. But um, yeah, that the paint I'm using is a flat finish. Um, it's not got any gloss to it, so it won't be shiny or reflective. So it should be great for recording, and hopefully there won't be much glare going on in this room when I'm done. So I will be covering these side windows here with um, black plastic just to um, do it for two reasons, to insulate and to block out the side light, which really can glare stuff up when you're trying to record. And I'm gonna replace this one light up here on the ceiling. I'm gonna pull that down or just add, I may just actually add some um, plug in LED lights that's like what I got over my fish tanks here I may just run a cord up to the ceiling and add a couple of strips across the ceiling here and probably one or two here just to add some overhead light straight down um, so let's get back over here I uh, just to get y'all going I'm gonna start painting this whole wall and cover this beautiful artwork up. So hopefully that doesn't take too long once I get going. All right, well, here we go.
Alright guys, here we are. Got the wall painted black. Um, actually, I got the airline plumbed in all the way around. But I'm going to talk about that in the next video. Um, also, motivational um, quote of the day. Push yourself. When you don't want to do something, do it anyway. You'll be happy you finished in the long run. Alright, so this is the drain line. Um, I got all the holes drilled so that um, the flexible tubing stuff that's going to be like this will be going from uh, the bulkheads in the back of the tank. It will be a flexible tubing that will go down into these holes I drilled. And um, just to show you over here, so this is the sump pump that will be pumping the water from this container that will be right here I'm gonna have to cut that I've got this container here I bought a two inch bulkhead this is a two inch drain line by the way so I'll have that setting there and then I will have this in here just to show you um, it's a sump pump that automatically turns off and on on its own um, it turns on at about six inches high it's about six inches of water the pump automatically turns on so uh, once the water drains, this drain line here goes all the way around. I killed it right there for now because I got to move all this off the wall. But I'll uh, continue this drain line all the way over to here once I move all this. And um, so everything that's on this wall and this wall here will ha have overflows that will drain into this drain line that's tied against the wall. It'll pour into here and I got a pretty powerful um, sump pump that's going to pump it. I'll have a hose that connects to it and um, the way this door is there's actually a, about an inch and a half gap along the top so I'll be able to go right through that gap of the door. One second. Get that out of the way. So I'll be able to go right through the gap of this door here with a flexible water hose and I'll wrap it around tight and have it come down this wall and drain into this mop sink. So, and also I will have uh, water hooked up here going out into a sprinkler system that will be pumping water back into the tanks. But again, that will be another episode. But I just wanted to give you all a quick update. I'm about to, I will probably paint this um, pipe black as well before I'm all done with but uh, most of this is going to be hidden because this is whole wall is going to have tanks behind it uh, but I wanted to show y'all a quick update before I started hiding the plumbing that I did and it worked out perfectly that it's wrapping around and right below the outlets and even this one it's going right below it and I figured out the math over here. Um, the bottom of the drain pipe is going to be right here on this wall to have enough fall. But I'm going to kill the drain right here. It won't need to go any further because I'm going to have longer four foot tanks on this wall. Then I'll put the drains on this end. So the drain pipe won't necessarily need to go past that outlet. So I got really lucky on how the height of the drain pipe needed to be versus the height of the outlets. So, and this one's actually higher than it needs to be. I just have it set on the bucket. But you can see it goes right along the bottom. I'll have to, ch this whole plug in here will be changed. I'll have to go with plugs that go straight in instead of bent down. And I'm not even going to be using every one of these plug-ins. But I'll have the opportunity to. So right now I got an extension cord that's taped across the floor right here plugged in running everything temporarily but next thing I'm going to do is bring in the wooden stand I built and push it against the wall here I'll finish painting the wood stand and then I can literally start adding tanks to it and putting the drain lines into the drain or the flexible tubing into the drain line anyway and I got to finish putting an elbow here and getting all this hooked up just right but I'm pretty excited looking forward to it so I'll get y'all guys back here on the next process so I'll get the stand in here and show you what it looks like but yep very happy with this black wall 
I may need to do another coat. I just did one quick coat. Again, the old wall was like a pinkish color, beige color. And I went around the ceiling, painted the ceiling in. And then if I did, I'm pretty happy with it because if you look right here, it just looks like paint, right? Can't even tell that the PVC pipe's there that I painted black. But it's there. You gotta get real close to see it. Again, of course you can see the bleed valve here. But overall, I'm really happy with it. It hides. I've got nails supporting it, but I'm gonna paint over those nails with the black paint and uh, make those nails go away. So those will be hidden too. All right guys, I'll see you on the next step.